Hi, good evening, everyone. The aim of today's session is to discuss some important questions on revenue and cost beta. Let us look at the first question. These questions are very important for various entrance exams. And it is also important for CUET, any other MA economics paper, for PhD entrance exam, for UGC net, I, gate exam, all of these, huh? Okay, let's start. What is the formula for calculating AFC and AR? So what is average fixed cost beta? We know AFC is total fixed cost divided by, because it is cost, because it is cost, it will be divided by per unit of output. Right, beta? What is average revenue? Average revenue is total revenue divided by the output. So from here, we can see that the answer to this question should be C. So AFC is total fixed cost divided by output and AR is total revenue divided by output. So answer will be C. Okay, beta, come to the next question. The next question says, the diagram shows a firm aims to maximize revenue. So, aim kya hai? Maximize profit karna nahi hai. Aim is to maximize revenue. Aim is not to maximize profit, but rather to maximize revenue. Please try and read it out. Which outcome is correct? So, I want to maximize my revenue. So, this is the trick in this question. So, so where will my revenue be maximized? I will only look at the TR function beta. This is my TR function. So where, where is TR maximum? Here, na? when it reaches the highest point. And we know better when TR is maximum, what happens to MR? MR is zero. Because when TR is maximum, we have to understand that at that point, the slope of this curve is, is parallel line. It's... It, it, it's horizontal. This line is horizontal to the x-axis. It's parallel to the x-axis. Just slope, hota, right? And what's the slope of TR? The slope of TR is nothing but MR. And it is parallel to the x-axis. So MR is 0. So try to see that when I am saying that the aim is to maximize revenue, does it happen at R? No, revenue is increasing. Does it happen at S? No, revenue is still increasing. Does it happen at T? Yes, revenue is maximum. So it takes place at R? No. It takes place at S? No. Now, but when your revenue is maximum, please try to understand. Can I say that profit is maximum? No, I can't. Because what is my profit maximizing condition, beta? Kya hoti hai profit maximizing condition? Profit is equal to TR minus TC. So, when I want to maximize profit, I will say DTR by DQ minus DTC by DQ is equal to 0. So, I will say MR minus MC equal to 0. So, beta, I will get MR equal to MC. So, when I have to maximize profit, my condition is MR equal to MC. But when I have to maximize total revenue, my condition is DTR by DQ equal to 0. So, MR equal to 0. These two conditions are not the same. So, profit is maximum beta where the gap between TR and TC is maximum. Revenue is maximum here. But there is some profit that I am still earning. That's this gap. Kuch profit to kama rahe hai na? Jo TR or TC ke beech ka gap hai, wo hi mera profit hai. But zaruri nahi hai ki sabse zyada profit ho. Kahi aur jahan par TR or TC ka gap maximum hoga, wo koi aur point ho sakta hai. Yahan par profit zarur hai, but ye maximum nahi hai. It's not maximum. So at T, the profits are there, but it's not maximum. So correct answer should be T. Output takes place at T. T is the point where revenue is maximum. And uh, there are profits, but these profits are not 
maximized. Profits are not maximized. Is this clear? Okay, we'll come to the next question. Other factors um, remaining the same and increase in the variable cost. So, better TC is TVC plus TFC. It says TVC is increasing. Increase in the variable cost facing a downward sloping AC and MC curve is likely to lead to. So, what will happen when TVC increases? Let's see. Try to see better. This is my TVC. Above this, I can draw my TC. Hmm, because there is some fixed cost. If I am talking about long run, uh, about short run, so so we kuch fixed cost be hogi. So this is my total cost, let's assume. Right. This is my total cost profit. Try to see that this is my fixed cost. When output is zero, and then I have a TC curve, huh? And try to see that, but this is my TR. Now it says that the variable cost is increasing. Huh, better. So if variable cost will increase, won't it increase your total cost also? This will increase, right? So better. Currently, what is the what is the output that you will be producing? So you will be producing where TR minus TC, this gap is maximum. That means this will be your output, Q star. Now, but what has happened? What has happened is that TC has increased. What has happened? That the total cost has increased. Try to see it. But if your total cost increases because of the variable cost, let me show you something, huh? Try to see. So let's say that the variable cost is 4Q, suppose. Variable, it is dependent on the level of output. Let's say better that the fixed cost is 100. So my total cost is 4Q plus 100. So, but marginal cost is what? DTC by DQ, it will be 4. Now, beta, your variable cost, suppose, has increased. Yehi to bol question. Variable cost has increased. So, variable cost increased to 5Q. But a fixed cost is 105. No, fixed cost remains the same, 100. So, total cost will be 5Q plus 100. So, but a marginal cost will be what? DTC by DQ. That means 5. So, where your profits are maximum, iski condition kya jati What is the condition you get? That MR should be equal to MC. When profit is maximum, MR and MC are equal to each other. So, beta, I have this as my MR, this as my MC and currently this is the level of output that I was producing. Now my MC has increased. My MC has increased. My marginal cost was earlier, even if I take it constant, you could have had the constant marginal cost also. Say this is MC. It does not matter. Huh? Now my marginal cost has increased. Pele, this was 4. This is what I was getting. My marginal cost was 4. Now my marginal cost is 5. How better? This has increased. So what will happen to the new level of the output? Come ho jayega, na? Output will decrease, na? So jab, jab total variable cost badegi, to total cost bhi badegi or marginal cost bhi badegi. Jab marginal cost badegi, so, MR or MC kaha intersect kar rahe hain, wo change ho jayega. Aur wo kaha intersect karenge kam output pe. They will intersect at a lower level of output. So, there will be a fall in the output. And if total cost is increasing, revenue hasn't changed. Revenue is also falling because Q is decreasing. So, but a profit will definitely decrease. Try to see this. But a, what is my what is my profit? Profit is TR minus TC. TR is decreasing. Revenue is falling. Because now, what is revenue? Price into quantity, you are selling less quantity. 
क्यू कम हो गया ना बेटा वॉट हेज हैपन टू द कॉस्ट कॉस्ट इज टीवीसी प्लस टी एफ सी तो टीवीसी इंक्रीज तो कॉस्ट इज इंक्रीजिंग तो कॉस्ट बढ़ रही है रेवेन्यू कम हो रहा है तो प्रॉफिट तो दोनों ही तरीके से गिर रहा है राइट द प्रॉफिट इज फॉलिंग फ्रॉम बोथ द एस्पेक्ट सो वी कैन से दैट द प्रॉफिट वर्ड फॉल सो द आंसर विल बी बी द प्रॉफिट विल फॉल ओके बेटा कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन what would be the result in increase in labor cost per unit of output so now we are saying that the labor cost is increasing beta per unit of output the labor cost has increased now let us try to interpret what will this mean so per unit output so so i can say that let the total labor cost be w into l wage rate into the number of labors because this so try to understand this thing beta can i say that the labor depends on the amount of output i am producing labor ki demand kis pe depend karegi ki kitna output produce kar rahe ho labor demand is implicit demand so when output increases you will demand more labor so in a way your labor cost hoti hai beta this is called your variable cost this is in a way your variable cost it is it it it, it depends on the level of the output hmm. now it says that there is increase in labor cost per unit of output so what will happen labor cost badh rahi hai matlab wages are increasing right that means it means this only and try to see that labor question is saying labor cost per unit output to beta suppose this this is defined as some z to beta ye z kya hoga it will be wl per unit output divided by q so when will this z increase ye increase kab ho sakta hai This is increasing, na? When will this increase? Ya to numerator bade, ya denominator ghate. So either when output decreases, then labor cost per unit will increase, or when wage rate increases. Agar numerator bade jayega, to bhi ye badegi. Agar denominator kam ho jayega, to bhi ye badegi. So what would be the answer to this question? Either an increase in wage, or increase. which is in higher than the increase in the output per worker so it's like this this is saying that wage rate pehle 10 thi hmm we were suppose producing 12 units of output now wage rate has increased output has also increased but this increases more wages zyada badhi hain so labor cost per unit of output will increase that's the answer to this question so answer should be d okay beta come to the next question the diagram shows a firm's total cost curve at what level of output will the firm's marginal cost be equal to average cost okay i want to i want to explain this question this is important try to see the slope of total cost is marginal cost because when total cost is differentiated you get mc but if you draw a ray through origin if i am drawing a ray through the origin and i am pass and i am finding the slope of this ray then that is my average cost kyu beta why kyunki agar is line ke bare mein baat ki jaye so what will be the slope of this line perpendicular by base beta here is my total cost so perpendicular is total cost base is quantity so tc by q is ac na so now the two are equal to each other when this ray ka slope is equal to slope of tc right 
Now let us try to see this diagram carefully. Try to see that here I have passed this ray. But the slope of total cost is this. So yahan par ye AC hai. But ye MC hai. Is this clear? Try to see at point B now. I have passed a ray. So beta, this is AC. And this is MC. Both are not equal. Now beta, try to see at point C. I have passed a ray. Through the origin. And slope is also this only. Jo bhi tangent up draw kar pao, through the curve. Both are same only. So at C, the two are coinciding. So C is the answer to this question. So answer should be C. That's the answer to this question. Okay, beta. I hope these questions were useful. They are very, very important from exam point of view. And uh, I hope to see you again in the next session. Okay, beta. Thank you.